couldn't resist myself. It was Black Friday, you know, 25% off the Nuke Proof Mega 275 Competition Edition from 2020. Now, why would you go for the 2021 if you have to spend 25% more? I don't know. So today we're just going to unbox this baby, give it a test run at the end of the video, and hopefully you like this video and you like the bike. Oh, it's actually separate this time. <laughs> Nice tires, look like they have good tread. Now I did see some complaints about the front tire on the Nuke Proof Mega 2020, saying that it's not as grippy and not as forgiving, especially in wet conditions. The reason I went for the Nuke Proof Mega is that they do do a good bike, especially the frame. It's a triple butted frame and not a double butted like most of Giant's bikes. So it just means that in the corners of the aluminum frame, you're gonna have stronger sections, especially if you're doing mountain biking on this thing. And this is size medium large, just because it's easier to sell in the future if you get slightly bigger than medium, because a lot of people are in between that height range. So if they're a large, they're probably willing to go for a medium or large if they were seeing it second hand. So it's just better for resaleability. Now, here I can see a minor scratch on the back here. Not too impressed with that, to be honest. Now the fork travel is 170 on the front and 165 I believe on the rear. At the end of the day, it is a mountain bike, it is going to be scratched up a small bit. Once there's no other serious damage to the frame, I'll be happy enough. So far I'm loving the look of the bike. The gun metal is so cool. Great that it comes pre-assembled. So you don't have to spend all your day trying to put it together and going down to a bike shop to do some of the work, like your stem, which is an absolute pain in the arse if you try to do that manually, I'd say. It does come with pedals. Now they're cheap enough pedals, but I'm gonna swap out some of the parts from my other mountain bike that I recently purchased, just because that's a downhill bike and I wasn't really aware that most of my mates, they like to cycle up the hills as well, and it does not do that. So I decided to go for this. I'm trying to sell the other one online, and just to reduce the price online, I'm going to put on maybe the cheaper pedals, swap out the grips as well, take back the other ones because they're quite expensive, so I can reduce the price for someone who wants to buy a second hand. I have this little Allen key set for you in the pedal box, and also the spanner. Nice. So it's cool that they put all that beginner cycling crap into one bag so you don't actually have to use it. So reading some of the chain reaction comments on the Nuke Proof Mega 275, a lot of people, it was obvious that they weren't too impressed with the SRAM guide brakes. Now, they were mostly complaining that they didn't last long or that they didn't do the job properly, especially for mountain biking. But, you know, give it a shot, see what it's like, and I'll review it myself. So you remember these pedals, got these on the other bike, so I took them off. They're really nice ones compared to the fiddly plastic ones you get in the box here. Now my friend said, don't bother changing the saddle because this saddle does look a lot better. It is thin enough, like it does have a nice enough profile. There was one that I was using at the Gap and I wasn't too mad about it. And also there was a lot of tearing around here. That's what I was worried about staying with this saddle. So fingers crossed, once I don't crash into anything crazy, it's gonna survive. And if you're worrying, did I lube these up? Yes, I did. Just 
Just want to be careful not to damage these forks. They're very sensitive. On second thought, I'm actually not going to change out the handlebar, but I will change out the grips to red to match the red pedals, which would be kind of cool. I haven't actually tried the Argon grips there a few minutes ago. I tried them on to see if they would match the pedals and look pretty cool, but no, the Sam Hill figure ones that came with the bike actually look better, so I'm gonna keep them on. Oh yeah, now just for some wet lube. Oh, this climb is unreal. So tough. So yeah, this is the first cycle on the Nuke Proof 275 Mega Competition. Nice bike so far. Oh, bumps are crazy. So yeah, we're up the Wicklow Mountains, this is the first proper cycle on a trail. We going down it? Being on this one. Can we go down this one? I've never one. tried this one. You see, to buy that kind of bike, I need to sell this one and the, the other one. Yeah, two of them. Yeah. <laughs> I know. I'm gonna buy something, but if I'm gonna buy something, I'm gonna buy something really decent. Yeah. Like three and a half gram, definitely, or something like that, yeah. Electric would be good as well, yeah. Ah, well, it would be good. Are you going already? Yeah. Hey look, I can see our car from here, and the lad scratching you with his car. Oh no. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna die in like a second, but fuck it. I'll be crawling now.
Oh man. Yeah, that was so. That was a long climb up. The bike's really quick, which is great, but uh, quite tiring. So I have to adjust the rebound. Small bit. Ooh. Oh, that was nice. The bike's very light. Just trying to stay on the pedals. Oh, I laughed taking my legs, fuck. I think the guys took a bit of a break. To sit in the saddle. Yep. So yeah. Oh, that's it. Hey, oh. right. <laughs> this uh, this is like the worst cycle ever, you know that. When I was doing this, I, I, I hated this. <laughs> oh, yeah. Now? Now you will fucking cry now on the way up. Yeah. Well, you can go that way. Well, no. So this is vlog number one where we have Eddie in front of us taking a casual stroll. <laughs> He's putting on his cotton arm on his head. <laughs> Oh, I know the climb. Well, that was all the fun gone.
Yeah, you get tired. Like I didn't even pedal. I didn't even pedal once, but still the legs of this. Oh my god. Send it. <laughs> Whoa. Nice feeling in the legs, bro, eh? Come on, come on, come on, come So of course I'm like, where's my GoPro on Eddie's head? And straight away seeing that he had a bit of a toss. 